Hello, so let's talk about equilibrium state. First of all, if we look at the vocabulary, this is the example from dictionary.com. The word equilibrium is a noun. The meaning is a state of rest or balance due to the equal action of opposing forces or it means the equal balance between any powers, influences, etc. equally of effect. Another meaning can be the mental or emotional balance or equanimity. The dictionary.com gives the meaning of equilibrium in chemistry as the condition existing when chemical reaction and its reverse reaction proceed at equal rates. From this definition, we talk about the chemical reaction in two directions, one in the forward direction, another in the reverse direction, and both of the directions proceed at equal rates. So equilibrium here in chemistry refer to the equality of the rates of reaction. The chemical equilibrium is the dynamic equilibrium. The dynamic equilibrium means that the equilibrium does not stop the dynamic equilibrium here consists of a forward and a reverse processes, and both occur at the same rate. Dynamic, the reactions do not stop. The concentration of reactants and products remain constant. The forward reaction produce product and the reverse reaction produce reactant. So if we look at the chemical reaction between carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas that produce methane and gases water, if we look at the change of number of moles of substance involved in this reaction against time in plot A, and also look at the change in rate of reaction against time in plot B. This is what happening. As soon as the reaction start, the amount of reactant decrease, decrease, and the amount of product increase. The rate of forward reaction reactants change into products decrease as soon as the product occur they can react together and produce reactants and the rate of reverse reaction increase when do we say that the equilibrium is reached where is the equilibrium starting From the definition, the equilibrium means the state in which the rate of forward reaction equal to the rate of reverse reaction. So if we plot at we if we look at the plot between rates against time, we can identify that the point of equilibrium should start from here where the rate of both directions are equal. So this should be our equilibrium point. And if we look at the plot between number of moles of substance against time, at equilibrium point, the amount of substances are not the same. Here hydrogen gas 
still has more than carbon monoxide and more than methane and gases water. We say that this point is the equilibrium state from the fact that the amount of substance from this point forward remain unchanged. The reaction does not stop. Both directions still occur. Reactants produce product. At the same time, product produce reactant. But the rate of change are equal, which means the amount of substance remain unchanged. We understand about equilibrium state already. The position where the forward rate equal the reward rate. Every reversible system has its own position of equilibrium under any given set of condition. A reaction can reach equilibrium regardless of how the reaction is constructed. Here are the three examples. If we start the reaction with reactants only, it will have the equilibrium position different from if we start the reaction with products only. And that would be different position compared to if we start the reaction with both reactants and products. Here are the three examples of the reaction between carbon monoxide, hydrogen gas that produce methanol. Experiment number one, we start the reaction with only reactants. Here it is, we start with carbon, carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. The product is zero. Experiment number two, we have the product start, not the reactant. Experiment number three, at the beginning of the reaction, we have all substance, both reactants and product. We can see from these plots that the point where the amount of substance remain unchanged is the equilibrium point or equilibrium position. They do not have to be exactly the same. If we look at the amount of substances in experiment one, they are different from experiment two and different from the experiment three. All of the experiment has one thing in common in which after equilibrium is reached, the amount of substance remain unchanged, 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 but they don't have to be equal. The amount of substance really depends on how you start the reaction. However, at equilibrium, at equilibrium, the ratio of concentration of the substance will give a constant value and that is the equilibrium constant which we're going to learn about that in the next video.